Hey guys, what is cooking? Happy new week, happy Monday. Um, you saw my title. My title is 10 foods you can eat this summer and lose 10 and lose 50 pounds. Okay, so kind of a catchy title. The last three are gonna kind of surprise you. Um, but stay tuned if you wanna learn the 10 foods that you can eat and still lose 50 pounds this, this uh, summer. Last three are gonna blow you away. What's up, Zachariah Andrews? How you doing? Sherry Horrocks, what's up? What's cooking? Hit the old way button. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, Denver Coles, how are you? We're all tired coming back from a big old uh, training down in San Diego and Cancun. Cool, cool stuff. But okay, guys, we're gonna jump into it. And the reason I know that you can do this, the reason I know you can lose 50 pounds eating these 10 foods, is because I actually did it. I went through it. So I'm gonna get into it. So my number one, I'm just gonna read them off my list. I made a list. So the number one thing that I ate and still lost 50 pounds is bacon, okay? Bacon, I'm just gonna read through them real quick and I'm gonna save the last three till the very end. So bacon, eggs, butter, sour cream, cream cheese, avocado, and what is that one? Chicken wings. Okay, so those are the seven things that I mostly ate when I was dropping serious weight back in 2016, lost right around 50, 53 pounds um, in a matter of about 100 days during the summer. Started about now and went three months and lost about 53 pounds eating those foods. So what do those foods have in common? Let's talk about why you can eat those and why you will lose weight. And I promise you're gonna to wanna to stay to the end because I've got, I got a really cool incentive if you do. It's gonna be awesome. Um, so bacon, eggs, butter, sour cream, cream cheese, avocado, chicken wings. Those all, the common denominator between those foods is they're high in fat and very low, low, low carb. So the name of the game when it comes to losing weight, um, losing fat is controlling your appetite. So for instance, if you ate a thousand calories of Twinkies and a thousand calories of bacon, it's not the same, guys. It's gonna do different things to your body. One's gonna make you crave more food and one's gonna keep you, it's gonna help satisfy that appetite, right? So those foods, if you eat them, so when you eat food, you're either telling, you're gonna tell your body, hey, um, you're gonna control appetite or you're gonna make yourself hungrier in less than like 45 minutes. So a lot of times when you eat the really high carb, sugary foods, um, you know, you get, that, you get that spike in energy and then very quickly you get that crash um, and then you're just gonna crave more and crave more and crave more. But if you eat these higher fat foods, low carbohydrate foods, it's gonna help control the appetite while giving you energy and it's just gonna be a smoother energy source. It's not gonna be up, down, up, down. If you're eating high fat, cutting your carbs out, it's just gonna be a nice, steady, steady energy and then it's gonna taper off, okay? So that's, that's the cool part. Okay, now, I was eating, I was probably eating bacon and eggs probably every, every other day, probably three or four times a week I was eating bacon and eggs. Um, I was eating lots of sour cream. I was taking pork rinds and dipping in the sour cream or pork rinds and dipping it in cream cheese. Um, and I was eating a lot of avocado, just really healthy, healthy fats. And it just controlled my appetite. When you control your appetite, it's like, that's, that's the name of the game. Okay, that's when you can get control over what you're putting into your body. If you can't control your appetite, guys, I don't care who you are, but you're, you're not gonna have a fighting chance. You're not gonna have a fighting chance if you don't control your appetite. So you've gotta eat foods that help control that. Drink lots of water, eat these foods. Okay, what are the other three foods I ate when I was, uh, when I was dropping all my weight? It was popcorn, milk duds, and Diet Coke. Okay, so obviously you can't eat milk duds, popcorn, and drink Diet Coke all week long and expect to lose a, you know, 50 pounds this summer. But here's what happened to me. So when I, when I made this commitment to myself that I was going to make this lifestyle change, it has, to be a, it has to be a lifestyle change, right? It has to be something that's sustainable that you can do. So I promised myself, if I go to a movie, if I go to a movie, I'm going to allow myself to pretty much eat whatever I want. Now I don't really eat the milk duds, but I always, always, always eat get the popcorn with that crappy butter that tastes so awesome on it. It's just basically oiled. I know, I know it's not good for you, but I love it. That's what makes me enjoy movie. It makes me enjoy, that's one of the things I enjoy in life are going to movies, enjoying the popcorn. So, uh, hey Dave Anderson, how's it going? I think Dave's got that same commitment as well. Denver Coles, bacon, eggs, butter, sour cream, uh, sour, yep, sour cream, cream cheese, 
and avocado. Those are the things that, oh, yeah, I, I mentioned butter, but yeah, I was just pounding that stuff. So I noticed when I wasn't eating it, I would get hungry and then I would crave eating all the other stuff. But when I would eat these high fat foods that helped control my appetite and I was actually putting less calories in my body than, you know, eating high, high sugary stuff. Okay, guys. So um, here's what I've got for you. Um, I don't have time to go through it all right now because it's a long, long list. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to message me directly and I will send you a complete list of foods a grocery list that you can, when you go to the grocery store, you'll be able to look at these foods and you'll be able to be like, okay, we need this, 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 this. And all the foods on there are going to be very low in sugar, low carbohydrates, and they're going to be higher in fat. So they help you control your appetite. Guys, if you want to crush it this summer, get this list. And I'll tell you what, everybody that requests this grocery list from me, I'm going to put their name in a drawing and I'm going to give them a really, a really, really cool prize. It's either gonna be a book called uh, Eat Bacon, Don't Jog. It's a really good book that teaches you this whole process. Or I'm gonna give away a, I'm gonna give away a 10 pack of keto nat, exogenous ketones that you can, that you can drink and try and, and that'll also help control your appetite. Really, really cool stuff. So guys, message me, request the grocery list and I will send it over to you. Hi, Janet, what's up, man? What's up, lady? Carson Thomas, how are you? Millie, how are you? Karen Campbell. I really appreciate all you guys jumping on here. So message me directly, request the grocery list. I'll get that out to you as soon as I'm by my computer. And then if you do request it, I'll put your name in for a cool drawing for a book or for, or for some exogenous ketones. And uh, we'll catch you on the next live. Take care, guys.